I'm DeLeon Sheffield, and my mother and I sell luxury homes in one of the fastest growing real estate markets in the country, the beautiful and sunny state of Florida. Let's go check it out. Wow. The kitchen. Oh my God. Together, we've been selling homes for over 10 years. Can you Sheffield? Yes. Here's your wild factor. Hey, man, thank you. Here we go. <laughs> it could be a lot juggling three kids, and my baseball legend husband, Gary Sheffield. What's the one thing you want in your man, Kate? Hot lady. What? Man, you're seven years old. But one thing's for sure, we do whatever it takes to make our clients happy. I love Beautiful. it. Beautiful. And close the deal. On this episode of Sheffield Real Estate, we're helping John, a professional poker player, find the home of his dreams. This is what I dream about having right here. Well, let's keep in mind of what I want, too. It's not always about you. But first, we need to get him and his fiance to agree on what they want in a home. I'm not too sure about the black countertops. It's a super-sized kitchen for her or a man cave for his poker games. Here's your wow factor, John. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hey, man, thank you. Here we go. Find out next. Still cannot believe you broke your foot. Yep. Do you think you're gonna be able to keep up on this tour with your one leg? I can keep <laughs> up on anything. Something like that does not stop me. Apparently one not. Nothing stops me. Well, our new client, John, who's actually a friend of Gary's, makes his living playing poker. Poker. I was a pretty good Uno player years ago. <laughs> Leon. John, nice to meet nice you, Nice to meet you. Features that I look for are big, big game room areas, many different bar areas, inside and outside. I've been a bachelor my whole life, but I'm interested in having kids and a family in the future with my girlfriend, Monique. Did she come with? No. Oh, you're solo. So I know, right. okay. I know. She had a family issue pop up but we could always come back if I like the house. Well, sure. I think you're gonna love this property. It's a three bedroom, three bath house, great layout, just lots of great features. Sweet, Sorry. I can't wait. All right. Wow, really sweet. You said you wanted the wow factor. This house definitely has that wow factor. It still has some of the bachelor-ish kind of ways. What I really want you to notice is that fireplace. Right right when I walked in, that's the first thing now, I saw. This is your dining room area. I'm visualizing me having my poker table being right here. Lord have mercy, he wants to gamble. Oh. You know it. Oh. You know it. Here is your master suite. You have her closet, and you have his closet. Yeah, of course. I get the I get the small one. <laughs> this is the master bath. I love the spa-like feel in this bathroom. Wonderful standalone tub. And they have music going throughout. Surround sound throughout surround this entire house. Oh, do they really? Yes. yes. As far as like a master room, it doesn't even seem that big. It's not really my style. In the kitchen, you have all the state-of-the-art appliances. It is definitely a chef's kitchen. It's really nice. I like the setup a lot. Check this out. Hidden cabinet. Oh, sweet. This Perfect. Like, so you don't have to have look. anything out. I love this look right here. Right. Really cool. It's just great. I also love the fact that you have this open space to the outdoors. So you feel like you have the inside, outside together. Does the glass slide open at all or anything? This does not, but you're, you have a bedroom right here off from the kitchen. OK. You have a full bath, walk-in closet. This is kind of weird, the bedroom right next to the kitchen, though. It's perfect for a guest. So it's away from you, and now you have this little guest with access to the pool, the kitchen. Um. I love this because it opens up into this little courtyard area with your pool. You can sit out here, enjoy. You know, it feels cozy. And it's got that party float. And exactly. you know what that's going to do, right? That's going to cause me to bring friends over and gamble. Oh, oh okay. God, help me. <laughs> 
Tell me what your final thoughts are. I love the, the neighborhood effect outside. Right. It seems kind of family-ish, which I'm eventually going for. Mm -hmm. But the layout isn't really falling proper. You know, it, it, I right. just. We have some more properties for you to look at. Tomorrow, it's set up. I already have it lined up. And uh, bring Monique. <laughs> OK, well, tomorrow's not going to work for me. I'll be in touch with you guys, OK? You never want to hear a client say, I'll call you. There's something not flowing with John. You, you're asking all the questions and all getting in the personal life. He may not even call us back. I don't like y'all over here, man. Because y'all come over here goofing around. Can I put my stuff up, man? I'm trying to organize over here. So y'all understand what a man cave mean? For men. For men. For men, right? All right, how many men in this room? Four. It's one. That's me. This man cave is set up just for me. Eventually, his man cave is going to be the family cave? Not going to happen. It will. Not going to happen. <laughs> that is not going to happen. When y'all get to be grown men, right? Uh huh. What What are you gonna have in your I'm man cave? I'm gonna have the same stuff. I'm one you at have a time. It. One at a time. You always gotta be first. You was I born did. second, so be second. Jaden. Chips, cause you won't give me any. When you get a man cave and you're grown, you're just thinking about chips. You're gonna be a fat man. <laughs> Noah, your turn. Statue of me looking like a man. <laughs> And chips. <laughs> and give me, like, All right, sit down, sit down. All right, Christian, what, what's the one thing you want in your man cave? Hot you lady. Hot lady? What? Man, you seven years old. All right, now y'all stay put and don't move. Hello? Gary. Hey. I was like, oh, Lord, now I got to deal with my son-in-law. He going to be like, mother-in-law, what you didn't do? I just showed a friend of yours a house, John Raisner, the poker player. OK. Mom may have come off just a little bit strong. I do what I do. I'm just not sure if he's happy or not. My wife always called me about her real estate. Isn't that what wives are supposed to do? Yeah, but you got to call on their husband. It's your be the job. damsel in distress. I was really hoping that you could call John up and, and you know, I have to play cleanup man a lot. Because when sometimes she she overkills. She, they already dead and she'll kill them some more. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call him and then I'll see if he won't wake off tomorrow. Oh, I Thanks, love baby. you. I love you, baby. Y'all owe me again. <laughs> I sure do. Yeah, okay. Love you. Bye. bye. I hope he gets this together so you can get out the doghouse. Yeah, right down the middle. Got a hundred on this hole. I'm gonna see what you do first. <laughs> That's the ball. There you go. There you go. So you met my mother-in-law, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. She's kind of pushy. To yes. Be honest. Nah. <laughs> Real pushy. <laughs> oh yeah. She wanted to sell that house. I tell you that. It, it, it was a little awkward. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, she got she got good intentions. You know, she just uh, that just her motherly ways. When I first met my mother-in-law, she was strong. And it can rub somebody the wrong way if they don't know her. How did y'all leave it off? I was like, I was a little shooken up about it. Oh, wow. I can relate to him, and I know how to get to him. And I think that, you know, having me around to help my wife from time to time, that's a benefit to her. Don't worry, I'll talk to my mother-in-law. She got, she got good intentions, you know. Yes, sir, and I appreciate you can it. get your house. Cool, I appreciate <laughs> and it. And everybody be happy. Yes, sir. <laughs> What would they do without me? <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm showing my client John another house. Hey, it's good to see you again. My mom almost ran him off. Gary told me he got everything under control after they went golfing. So I really need this house to wow him in order to get back in his good graces. Hi, nice to meet you. you. This time, John brought his girlfriend, Monique, 
and I have absolutely no clue of what she likes. So this could get really interesting. You said you wanted the wow factor. This house definitely has a wow factor. Sweet. I'm excited, I like yes, it. Yes, let's go. This whole house has been custom built. There you go. Wow. wow. Very tall vaulted ceilings. I like it. To the left of us, we have a uh, formal living room. And then it flows into more of your living space. OK. Oh, wow. This is the kind of stuff you like, too, huh? Yeah. Built-in refrigerators. It's <laughs> cool. I just love this area because it incorporates your living area with your state-of-the-art chef kitchen. Yeah, I like to be able to see what's going on. Exactly. And see what I need to do in here. We have this huge family oh, wow. dining room. I don't even know how we're going to fill this table. Wow. This is like what a palace looks like. This is what I dream about having right here. Well, let's I mean. keep in mind of what I want, too. It's not always about you. <laughs> Now this, we can have billiard room, movie theater yes, room. Yes. It is all wired now for we're talking. surround sound throughout the entire house. Yeah, I definitely can see this as like a kid, you know, movie theater area for them to yeah. hang out, have their own space. No, 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 no. This is going to be my space. To be discussed. To yes. be discussed. We'll figure that out. We have two bedrooms over here. This is cool. Each one of these rooms are going to be very different and very theme oriented, but all of this can be changed. Definitely a great size room for, you know, a kid. Yes. Now we are in the second bedroom. Famous tattoo artist actually did the artwork on this wall. I don't know if we want to keep that. Yeah, I don't that. know so much about this. <laughs> we have to name our kid Jordan. No, 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 that can change. I would love to show you this really, really, really neat bedroom. And I know you guys don't have kids oh, wow. yet. Yeah. But oh this room has been done up this is cool. This is really cool. And very famous designer came in here and did all of this work, so. We could keep all this like this? You could keep all of this. Definitely see them never leaving this room. So we can scoot on over to the master bedroom. Got additional storage space all over. Separate, okay. Oh, now, wow. you nice. enter to your bedroom. Well, you have lots of privacy because you have pretty much your own wing. Yes, I like this a lot. Again, it's very dark in here. Everything is changeable. Good, I plan on wanting to change a lot. I kind of see the dynamic of this relationship and who is calling the shots. I mean, I love the built of this house, so I don't want to change too much. I mean. So I need to get on Monique's good side. Part of your master bedroom mm -hmm. has this great. Oh, yes, this upper I love. This is nice. Sunday. I love this. So you put a little nice lounge furniture up here. Okay. Yeah, for sure. We would definitely set that up like that. I like the view a lot. The house is just kind of surrounding the pool, which is nice and inviting. Yeah. I just want to know, are we heading in the right direction? Like, I mean, I definitely want to see more properties. I think we are. I mean, I've always told you I've always wanted like a white kitchen. It just seems very manly. Yes. You no, know, it feels more like my style. Again, okay. what he likes. He's not understanding, you know, this is manly. Toughest thing about dealing with couples in real estate is finding something that's going to please the both of them. And when you have two different strong opinions, finding them a balance in the middle could be very challenging. Well, you know what they say, happy wife, happy life. Yes, uh, I know, that is I know, true. I know, I <laughs> know. I think after the last property she showed me, I think she did great coming into the property number two. I feel like she knows what I like. I see it as a lot of cleaning. It's definitely a little too big right now. I mean, you know, we don't have a family, so I don't know if this is the best option. We will find the perfect place for you guys. Perfect. I'm excited to see another property, and I think she can hit it on the head for You're going to have to get a better selection of candy in here. You have a problem. Where you going? I got to show John and Monique a property. Can I go? Oh, no, no, no. D, I promise I will act right. Oh, uh, only if you admit that you just messed up. I messed up. All right. Don't make me regret this. I won't. 
You can bet on it. Mom. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Hi. How are you guys? Hey. Mom, you didn't get a chance to meet Monique. Hi, Hi Monique. Yeah. First couple homes, I had a little rocky start with John and Monique. But I'm hoping that this home will be the absolute one for them. We got a little something for you. We got something for you. So this house checks all the boxes. I'm hoping that they will absolutely love it. And I'm hoping Miss Monique, it's the right one for her, because she's a tough cookie. So yeah. far, I'm, I'm enjoying the entrance and three everything. Three-car garage, oh, yeah. three -car the pond garage. in the front, it's gated. Yeah. It's got a little security. From the last house that we saw, this house is half the price. I can't wait. Let's go. Ah, let's go. Well, here it is. Wow. wow. I like the wow. Here is a office currently, but it can be a, a beautiful dining area and I can see us doing many different things with this room. As you come into this room, it's wonderful space. We have a beautiful fireplace in the corner. Yeah. Nice family room, inviting into this huge kitchen. I'm not too sure about the black countertops. Again, it's kind of dark. This is easy to change. Yeah. I can always get you new countertops, yeah. new cabinets, stuff like that. But you know, let's pay attention more to the layout right now. So I love how they've utilized this space to incorporate another eating area. So if you did not want to use that room for your dining room, you right, this could be more of a family so. setting yes. type. Ah, yeah. I like it, it out looking over the pool and stuff. The best. Come follow me. Is yet to come. Come on. Right, I'm excited. <laughs> now this is amazing. Yes. yes. Really cool. Ah. This is a wonderful covered lanai area with your outdoor barbecue grill and kitchen. It's great for entertaining yeah, which, out here. And then you have TV space all up there. Yeah, I love this part right here. This is cool. I really like it. Nice size pool, and you have a great jacuzzi. Yeah, I like this pool a lot. It's more room, there's more space out here. We got the jacuzzi. Compared to the first house, I mean, the pool was like more condensed, and it was kind of the center part of the property. I didn't really, right. I wasn't really happy with that at all. I like this a lot more. I cannot wait to show you this right here. So this area right here is what we typically call a mother-in-law suite. So your fourth bedroom is actually here, away from the house. I like that. Yeah. Yes. Here's your wow factor, John. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Amen. Thank you. Here we go. Here's your wow factor, John. Oh, ho, ho. Here we go. Nice. They have billiards, but you could put a poker table in here. You could do, frankly, whatever you wanted. Monique, you might not ever see me again. Perfect. Oh, I love it. Oh. So come on, we still have more house to see. I'm happy so far. Now I want to see that second floor. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We have three bedrooms upstairs to see. Oh, I like this loft. Cool. So you actually have an, another little additional sitting room, TV yeah. area. Yeah. I really um, like this. We have two additional bedrooms with full baths. Oh, wow. Wow, we definitely, this nice is perfect for bedroom. the future. bedroom. Yes, nursery or yes. A kid's room. Really big. Last but not least, the wonderful. The best for last. Oh, wow. Master awesome. bed. Great space. Very oh, roomy in yes. here. Like, I love all the lighting. Sweet. Oh, it's just absolutely gorgeous. <sighs> we can keep this or no? I'm, you know, everything is negotiable. Everything it. is negotiable. <laughs> master bath. You have your separate tub shower. The master closet is part of the bathroom. Oh, wow, this is really small. Remember, this property is half the price of the last property. Do we write a contract out for what? Well, we got some things to talk about and uh, go over. OK, sounds good.
Bottom line, this house has everything that they really want. Now, there's a few little obstacles yeah, that we I ran mean, into. give or take, but they walked in loving this house, so. We will see, we will see. I would want to change a lot. Buying this house for this price and giving you free space to... Do whatever I want with it. Yes, I, I'm fine with changing things to make you happy. Hey, guys. Hey. So, what do we think? We really like it. This could be the one. But you said could. Man, you're always tough on me. <laughs> <laughs> is this the one? I think it is. So! You guys did a good job. Thank you, guys. Yes! This has been a pretty good week for us. Team Sheffield! 